Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going a little bit back in time because I found some footage from a sealed deck event I played, I guess, last month. Um, and it's part of the Reborn League. And what we did, we all opened a starter deck of 4th edition, two packs of Fallen Empires and two packs of Chronicles. And we made a deck out of that and had a tournament. And this is actually part of a bigger event called the Reborn League. Now, if you'd like to know more, you can click on the playlist that's appearing right now. And you can see my openings. You can see a couple of games. You can actually see, because this is not me opening. This is Yoop Vak opening this starter deck and these packs. And you can actually see him play as well. So he's going to make a deck out of whatever he pulls. But I thought it was really nice to also show you this opening because how many openings do you have of like old stuff like this it was really a great evening and a great experience to open these old packs and let's see what he's gonna pull here so he's now opening the inside there the inside wrapper and first we see those nice basic lands fourth edition crispy mint that ink smell fantastic and he's going through them now and after this we'll see the three rares that we can find in this deck. And there's the, oh, it's the Ebony Horse. That's not a good one. It's basically a Mace of If and a Righteousness here. That's pretty good. And a Jade Monolith. Um, what did that do again? It's really hard because the, um, the camera is kind of blurry. So I'll try to get the cards up here for you. I believe you can redirect damage that a creature gets to yourself. So from, from a source. So when it's blocking, you can pay, I believe, two or a sum of mana, and then you can take the damage yourself. Now let's have a look at the uncommons. We see Tannis' Wand here. We see Scavenging Gold. Crumble is pretty good. The Rack could be decent in this format. Tannis' Weaponry. Brassman, it's a nice one drop. And there we see, okay, Wall of Ice. That can be pretty good. Also the Gloom, by the way, could be a good sideboard card here. And I guess these are the commons now. So these were the uncommons, eight uncommons in total. And I don't know the name of this card. It's a 1-1 one, one flyer. And it has got some like difficult, in a difficult way it can get plus one, plus one counters. This is a good one, a fireball here. Really good card. I think the best card so far, a pit scorpion, an unstable mutation, phantasmal terrain. Uh, the epic crow worm, pretty good pull as well. It's just, it's look at that art of that crow worm, beautiful. Then we've got Holy Strength. A Disenchant could be pretty solid here. A Red Elemental Blast. The Brute. The Brute actually gives you regeneration for three red. It's like so, it's so random. A Wall of Spears, Lost Soul, Dirkwood Boars. And this one's called a, a Pity or a PT. I, I know it's for defending creatures. A Bird Maiden. Word of Binding, Iron Claw Orcs, that didn't see printing in Revise, by the way, the Iron Claw Orcs. Pestilence, Unsummon, Carnivorous Plant, pretty good wall, 4 5. Hey, a Timmy, that's good. You gotta play the Timmy, Yoop. You gotta play the Timmy. So we've got Regeneration, we've got Yoshin Soldier, we've got the Goblin Rock Sled. Oh, and there's this 1 1 Elf. Ah, oh, what does it do again? Or Kitkin or something. It's 1 1, it cannot be blocked. And we've got the Bloodlust. I have to admit, you not the best opening. Not the best starter deck you could have. But there are a, a few good cards, I guess. Well, this is useful. A Stang here, that's a 3-4 legendary creature, originally from Legends. And when you play it, it copies itself. So you have like two, three, four creatures for the price of one. But when one creature dies, you lose them both. And there's a Recall. Oh, what's this card again? Ooze is something. Emerald Dragonfly. We've got the Witches here. They're very useful, I think, in this format. He could kind of make a ping deck with the Protocol Sorcerer. And we've got a Tron Land. We've got the Goblin Shrine. We've got... Uh, it's White Protection from Red. We've got the Pixies. We've got the Volcano Wall of Vapor. Gazban Ogre. Not there, there. I guess the, the, the witches could be useful, the recall could be useful. The emerald dragonfly is a flyer, of course. I mean, we have to think here in this sealed format environment, it, it could be useful. And we've got Stang there. Ah, the taggle maggot. That's that's a, <laughs> it's a funny card. 
and we've got ah uh, i forgot the name of the enchant world and we've got a doll that's a pretty nice pool the boomerang another urza land the yeti oh this is hard for me i don't know the, the fish liver oil dum dum transmutation and another goblin shrine so he's got two goblin shrines now it's very risky to play a goblin shrine because they give all your goblins plus one plus zero but when the goblin shrine is like disenchanted when it goes out of play it deals one damage to all the goblins or all your creatures so it's very risky and the sea singer that's a pretty good pull there so this is obviously the pack of fallen empires now he's going pretty pretty quickly and that's nice at night there the pump night order of light burr i believe that's that's pretty solid and also that Ikation Scout there that can get first strike, it's pretty good. And Sea Singer can combo off really well with the Phantasmal Terrain that he had earlier. And let's see, a Dwarven Armorer and an Ikation Phalanx, that's a 2-4 banding creature, very strong. So Dalian Mage, another Merfolk there, and oh, a Talit. That last card is a Talit, a 1-1 can make smaller creatures okay well you um i don't know how to convey this message message to you but um <laughs> this is this is awful man this, these pools there are a few good cards in there and and remember this is a sealed event so i'm sure you can build something out of this but it looks very very random um anyway this was the opening uh, i still had it and I thought, hey, let's share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the, the opening. Like, if you want to see some of the games, or maybe you've seen them already, but if you haven't, then uh, check out the playlist. I'll put it here on the screen for you. Um, and, well, for now, thank you for watching. And if you want to help the channel, leave a comment. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. That really helps for the YouTube algorithm. And um, subscribe, spread the word. And for now, thank you for watching, and see you next time.